This video is for anybody that's having problems connecting libraries within Native Access. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the appropriate library. In this case, it says repair and you're going to want to relocate where it actually is. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for you now. Now, I just want to give you the heads up that for some of you, you've tried to do this, but you're still not getting a response. And so I want to show you a couple of things that could potentially help. You can see that that library has in fact been kind of reconnected. So I want you to go up to your settings here, go into preferences and at the content location, this is where you're determining the samples are. Now let's say you're going through a big transition and you had them in one external drive and now you're trying to kind of move on to another one. You're going to have to make these slow decisions. So for example, right now I'm sending everything over to samples, but if I want to download something new and I want it to go to a different place in my hard drive or another hard drive, I will have to create that action or that command here. So just a quick example right now, I'm downloading all of the contact libraries. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to send all of my machine samples to a separate part of my computer. So the last thing I want to say, if you're not able to, to rectify this is you're going to have to go into your system preferences under security and privacy, and you're going to have to give native access the full disk access. This is the way that I was able to fix the issues that I was going through. Once you do that, you can either relocate and create that connection once again. Worst case scenario, you can go ahead and just reinstall everything all over. And just a heads up, something I found that was very peculiar. Again, I'm sending all these contact libraries to an external drive and it automatically creates this users folder under shared. And this is definitely coinciding with its natural behavior of sending this to the user or the root directory inside of the Mac ecosystem. So if you send this to an external hard drive, just look out for a user's folder and then a shared folder, and then you should be able to find the appropriate libraries there. So this is Eddie Gray signing off. I've got a lot of videos on Logic Pro, on native instruments and all sorts of stuff. Consider subbing if you like the content. And I will catch you on the next one. Thank you very much.